2020. A whole year has passed since 2019 and it feels like a lot has happened in that year. I feel like the new year is a good time to reflect and also to dig out all the hard drives and enjoy remembering your life experiences. So 2019, let's do it. The year started for me in the south of England with Nathan and his family as it often does. The holidays always pass so quickly and before we know it we're back in Leeds, working jobs in the city and really weekend warrioring. We took a few trips in the van during winter time and I was really enjoying my photography. I remember discovering Stainburn Forest and hiking around the Dales and just really enjoying being out with the camera. I was also training for our Barrison. In February I actually injured my finger. I'm actually still dealing with the same injury so it's scary to think that it's nearly been a whole year now but Getting injured did mean that we had a lot of time for other things, so we spent a couple of really good weather weekends in the Lake District and did a lot of hiking and filmmaking and waiting for our bar scene, which came around at the beginning of March. We went with our two friends Paddy and Sabrina for a week and we really fell in love with the forest and I was completely taken with the style of climbing, so hopefully in 2020 uh, there'll be more our bar scene in store. So that brings us to April. In April, Nathan turned 25. We spent Easter with Nathan's parents in Norfolk and ran our first half marathon. In April, we also spent a lot of time in the Peak District and the Lake District running and climbing. My finger had a brief period of strength and we spent a lot of time at Sheffield Depot when it opened in May. In May, I went to the Brecon Beacons for the first time with Outdoors Magic and that was a really, really cool experience. I went to the Peak District with Solomon and spent the month running, pretty much. June, I quit my job. Then I went to Croatia by myself. I booked myself a plane ticket to Pula and spent a week exploring the coast there and doing a bit of soul searching. And then it was time to start my new job. Uh, so I started my new job in July of 2019. I turned 25 in July 2019. I spent a lot of time climbing at Sheffield Depot in July. And yeah, July was a really good month for me. We went to North Wales with our friends Faye and Archie. I took Clem's Bulge. I remember July being very good and great weather too. And in August, we were actually homeless for a month. August definitely taught me lots of things, but one is that you don't need an awful lot to be happy and it really is more to do with the quality of the people around you than the things around you. Over the August bank holiday we spent a weekend in the Lake District and this was probably my one of my favourite trips from this year. We had fantastic weather, we spent some time bouldering at St Bees and hiking. We really ramped up our climbing training in September, spent a lot of time at Sheffield Depot and lots of time climbing indoors. The weather wasn't so great during September, so we spent a lot of time at the wall. In October, I hiked the Cumbria Way and it definitely made me realise that I really really like hiking and I also really like hiking by myself. <laughs> I hiked the way partly by myself, partly with Nathan and partly with my dad and it really piqued my interest for long distance hiking. It's something I definitely want to do more of in 2020 and I hope to tackle some long distance routes by myself this year. Actually I have a plan to go back for the trail that I nearly died on two years previously, which may, might sound crazy, but I'm kind of psyched for it. In November, we were in extreme training mode for our trip to Fon. I started a training blog. And I also got some really cool video opportunities. So in early December, I was lucky enough to film Shauna Coxey for Epic TV, which was a really, really cool experience. I headed down to the Women's Climbing Symposium and I was absolutely, I was very scared, but it was a really, really cool experience and I'm really glad I did it.
Then we headed down to Nathan's for Christmas, spent Christmas with Nathan's parents and then spent the new year in Font. I felt very grateful to welcome in the new year with Nathan in a place that I love, climbing and just feeling good and very grateful for a great year. So now to look forwards, 2020 is stretching ahead of me and I hope to spend it much like I spent 2019, doing the things that I love with people that I love and really just enjoying my life. This year I haven't really set any firm objectives but I do have some goals that I'd like to work towards in climbing in my creative work and my mental well-being. In 2020 I hope to say yes to opportunity and experience, travel more, reduce my anxiety, create art that I am proud of. I'll be using hannamorriscreative.co.uk to share my stories and I'll continue to document my adventures on here. You guys had a wonderful start to 2020 and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!